All right. And let's Hey everybody, my name is Melly DeVitri. I am the founder of DI Techno. I am so excited today because I have another interview of one of our producers within the company. So why don't you start us off and tell us who you are and where you're from and what you're about to get into. Hola, hola. Hello everyone. Esteban Hoyos, aka Humano in the building. Thank you so much for having me. Can't wait to continue this interview and get authentic and real with you. I know this is like so good. Like I didn't think that the interviews would unfold to this like one-on-one -on -one, like experience, but here you, here we are. We're if this is this your studio? Can you kind of show us a little bit what you got going on behind you? Yeah. So kind of give you a bird's eye view of what I got. I got my keyboard. Nice. <laughs> oh, so good. So what inspires you when you're making your music? Like, how do you really get into the zone in your studio? Like, do you have to just like go into this form or this energy? Like what brings you there? Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like I'm a lot more creative at night. Like I have this theory, I don't know what it is. I think that like, I think at night, I think if you were born at night, I think you're more creative at night. I think a but lot of creatives born, are like that. They're just like yeah. that night vibe. But if you are born during the day, you're creative during the day. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's a theory of mine. I'm just like, maybe <laughs> it's true. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm personally was born, you know, at night. So uh, for me, I'm just like so much more creative at night. I get in the zone. I have to get in this vibe. Like I have mm -hmm. to listen to some music, especially like live music. Like mm -hmm. I'll listen to salsa. I'll throw in like Kanye West mm -hmm. randomly. Oh, wow. I'll throw in like all like different types of music. Cause I'm, I, I don't just like electronic music. You know what mm -hmm. I make? You know, I love... Um, I'm a musician too, so um, I just love hearing all their art forms and, you know, for me, just like being what inspires me is, is you know, love, betrayal, people, and you put it into um, your music. nature, mm -hmm. and, you know, all these things that I put into my music, you know, and this is, this is what gets me to that, to that level, you know, I have to kind of get in that vibe and that mode and have fun with it because mm -hmm. You know, I have to be playful like a little kid. Yeah. You know? And I know we've um, crossed paths a lot of times. Like I was living in Miami for two years and I know you flew in a lot. I think you went to yeah. some events like at Space Park. Like what is like your take on live music? Because does that make you want to just keep continue producing so other people can kind of give off that energy with how they do when they're performing? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, listening to live music for me since I was a little kid, it's very, been very integral important in my life. You know, I have to hear this. Like, I've been listening to classical music. I remember, like, being very young, and my parents would take me to Independence Day, and there would always be, like, a symphony right. playing. And for me, seeing as a, as a young kid, you know, um, was very important, because that's when I started just playing clarinet, and, mm -hmm. and I started, like, singing and, and all these kinds of things, and I started playing in marching band and all this kind of stuff. So for me, like, kind of experiencing that was, 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 you know, live music um it's just always been you know super important yeah, in, in what i do sense. every day yeah it makes sense <clears throat> and why you want to be in this business so you can give that same energy to other people and that's what brought us together like you were one of our first detroit techno in-house podcasts yeah. we vetted you we we re listened to the music on soundcloud we knew what we were about and we that's what the agency does though our energy is only positive we only want to work with people that want to hustle and people that want to do it for the people and not do it for the dollars like that's what it's about it's about watching people like glow when they're listening to something that you created so like tell us a little bit like what is your roadmap right now are you currently looking for people to book you are you doing festivals are you producing is a little bit of everything yes like right now it's been like obviously first and foremost what i do this is always going to be for the people period like if, if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be here mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that first and number two is like the road the road map for me right now i have a lot of cool things coming up i'm really 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 excited this has been just like yes. well I, first thing that's coming up i have a cool show happening downtown in Greenville, where i live in south carolina mm -hmm. um, it's going to be downtown i'm actually bringing a violinist okay i'm bringing a uh, live percussion uh, of friends that are yes. going to play with me uh, from atlanta they're mm -hmm. coming down so it's going to be a hybrid set it's going to be you know electronic um, tribal uh experience and really excited to just to show that this for my city mm -hmm. um, and do this for the people and then 
After that, I'm going to be going to do something really cool. Actually, I'm going to be playing Pangea Festival, oh, um, nice. which is going to be in the woods of Anderson, South Carolina, mm-hmm. in the mountains. It's, it's going to be gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been playing that festival for like probably about four, I think it's my fourth or fifth time. I can't remember. Okay. Um, so it's been a blessing, really, because it's like, also like Southeast all the all-stars from local talent um, all over the region coming together and, you know, sharing a beautiful experience, camping out. And just being out in nature is just super inspiring. So, you know, I can't wait to, to do that. And as far as music, you know, making music, I've been quietly working uh, on myself, on learning as much as possible. Mm-hmm. I've been making music. And uh, I've been actually, um, I actually did a set in Atlanta where I did un- like all of my unreleased music, I just the set of just my music. Um, so that's been really like um, mm-hmm. very important to me. And I can't wait to start releasing this year. Yeah. Uh, it's my goal to really, you know, start putting stuff out there for the first time. So stay tuned. Yeah, keep us in mind because we're about to roll out our first EP ever. It's a historical moment. It's going to be June, yeah. June 1st. That's first or second week. Like, obviously, we only want like our pioneers and our energized people to be amplified in the same way. And I know you can do that. I've watched your live sets. I've seen how you get into it. We're both very artistic people. And I think that's what sets us differently is we also like put that creative piece into it. And you saying that it's going to be experimental with other instruments like I that's like top like you thought of every single detail and you executed it all the way through and that's what I think makes you who you are thank you thank you thank you thank you so much yeah absolutely it's been it's been a pleasure to have this like one-on-one with you and I know you're going to be coming to where I'm at my neck of the woods here soon like what are you going to be doing down here in Colombia? why don't you tell everybody what you like to get into <laughs> Man, it's been four years since I've been to Columbia, South America. Like, um, you know, I, I'm born in, I was born in Lowell, Massachusetts. So all my, all my family is Colombian. <laughs> I knew it. And I, I moved to South Carolina and I lived in Greenville mm-hmm. um, ever since. And I lived a little bit in Charleston when I went to school there. And a tidbit in Atlanta, but I'm from Morsley, from South Carolina. And I can't wait to go back to Columbia at the end of the month mm-hmm. and check out Anna, Medellin yeah. and check out festivals. We'll go to a festival together. You're going to go to the Spectre same place. Scenes, yeah. The weather, the beach, mm-hmm. everything. So and that's I'm what music is about, right? Like the same sounds, like you go to these places to hear those sounds because you know what the music is going to be like. Like Medellin techno is different than Cartagena and that's different from Bogota and Cali. So you're going to be bouncing around all these different places and that's going to make you grow as a producer because you're absorbing everybody else's fuel yeah and not only that but like also too like just hearing that um like other kind of music like cumbia salsa flamenco Paracha, bachata. bachatas <laughs> yeah, reggaeton Cro- crossover Les, you know, reggaeton right so all of that like i, I love hearing all that stuff influences influences me seeing people dance mm-hmm. you know all this is like and they're everything so happy to me. Seeing and art, they're busy. You know, like, absolutely yeah that's what yeah. it's about like being able to cross over with you in a different part of the world because you know we're going to follow each other based on the sounds who knows maybe i'll be catching you in detroit or we'll be popping over to see you over in south carolina maybe medellin <laughs> obviously obvio right <laughs> that's awesome it's so good um so tell tell everybody that's been tuning in just now like how can they best figure out when how to contact you on instagram or would you have a website like let people know like promote yourself with this Yo, yo, I'm going to shout out myself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> shout out yourself and tell people how amazing you are and how they can get a hold of you so they can follow that swag. <laughs> if you got a hat like this, follow me at, um- at Umano1111 with an H. So like human, O, 1111. So 1111 is kind of like the awakening. So it's not just like a number. So, you know, I don't know if you believe in angel numbers, but that's kind of where it came from. I was in, in the wilderness and... Mm-hmm. Um, at uh, my friend's party and right. he did a party in the woods it was crazy and like I was like kind of like hungry and this guy saw me like oh are you okay like you need food or anything like that and I was like yeah yeah he's like I got lasagna okay let's, let's get some lasagna That's so I fun. eat the lasagna and then all of a sudden like we started talking about like religion got like real deep and right. stuff right and then all of a sudden I was like you know what like that was very human of you like that was a good human act yeah. of you like to see me and like need and help me out like you know and ever since that I was like 
Humano, like, this is it. Like, and then boom, like, I ran with it. And ever since then, I was just like, because I was going by Theon. Mm-hmm. Like, the second half of my name is Theon. Okay. And then I, ever since that, I, I was like, I, I switched. And I was like, new alter ego, new everything for fresh. Like, something clicked. Yeah. So, yeah, nature and, and people, like, as I was saying, it's angel crazy. Angel numbers is really important. Spirituality. Us. Yes. 11, 11. We're all a bunch of angels at this company. 11, 11 is a great number. Yeah, we really are. Yeah. Like, that's how we amplify all of the good shit that we're doing is we're just good people. And Manifest. that's how, yeah, we, we're good people. We do good shit. We give back. And that's what makes us grow as this team. We don't have to take from each other. Like, I want, mm-hmm. that's one of the missions about the agency is we want you to go up and out. We're not those agents that's going to hold you as producer we're going to put you in front of people and connect you with those people so they can take you and take you and take you up you know what i'm saying like that's just oh, yeah. a part of it so most it's- definitely it's a big web Mm-hmm. okay hermano i appreciate you so much this was amazing um everybody just tune in all of the links will be in the bottom of the description let's say goodbye to him give him a shout ciao ciao bye awesome that was great that was so 